Warning, the following video will contain language of a frank and explicit nature. Viewer discretion is advised. If you can't handle four-letter words, then stop watching now. To everybody here, what's up, my many faces? I'm Dave. Darker than Damien, more savage than Vandal, and this is the Arrow Roast. Now, I know I've been a little uh, lacking in my shit, and I honestly haven't really been feeling very well, but I'm finally starting to get a little bit better. Am I going to do regular reviews and roasts again? Not sure, but I'm sure if there's going to be something that's stupid or something that stands out about the fucking shows, I'm going to have to mention them. And here's something going back into the show before we start actually getting to watch it again that I have to bring up. Now, where last we left off, it looked like Team Arrow was split down the fucking middle. Uh, Wild Dog was kicked the fuck off because, you know, apparently he's, you know, decided to betray Team Arrow because he could, because he had to. I mean, I'm sorry, but this is kind of the picture that they painted him into back with Tobias Church. Okay. I mean, you know, you know, great fucking thing. I mean, you know, you know, they, they, they point him into a fucking stereotype of, you know, he talks a good fight, he gets tortured, and he tells the bad guys whatever the fuck they want to hear. So, you know, you should have known about this. But uh, then we got, you know, he is taken off. And, uh, of course, we got mm, Tina. <laughs> she feels that that is it all right, uh, considering she also has mixed feelings about her fucking ex, uh, who's like Kenny McCormick from fucking South Park now, a.k.a. Vigilante. So she leaves the fucking team. And now Curtis has left Team Arrow as well, which that didn't really surprise me. But it looks like the cast-offs are going to be making their own team. And I thought this would be a good time to bring up something that's actually kind of cool that I'm looking forward to in the comics. You see, very soon there's going to be a new title released from DC Comics that is going to be a brand new hero group called The Terrifics. And it's kind of like in the line of Fantastic Four, only that DC's doing it, because Marvel sure as fucking ain't. And it's going to have Mr. Terrific, Michael Holt, you know, the third smartest man on Earth. And when I say that, I'm talking about that the only two people that are smarter than him is Batman and Lex Luthor. And considering that these two motherfuckers can't be on Arrow anyway, <laughs> okay, so give them some kind of props, you know? Anyway, so we got Mr. Terrific, Plastic Man, we got Metamorpho, and just around shit out, we got Phantom Girl. Yes, a character from the Legion of Superheroes from the 31st century stranded in the 21st century because no one fucking knows. So we got a chick that can become invisible, a stretchy guy, a super genius, and a big inhuman looking muscle dude. Yeah, that's the Fantastic Four, all right. You know, now given that Metamorpho can become different elements and stuff, he can also provide firepower too. So that's kind of cool. But I think that the reason that's part of the reason why they're doing it in Arrow, the TV show, too. But instead of the Terrifics, I mean, I don't, are you really going to call. You know, the, the fucking cast-off team, the Terrifics. I don't know. I mean, as far as from Arrow goes, I mean, like I said, we've got Curtis, who named his fucking spheres Kodo and Poto after the Beastmaster. I guess we should be glad that he doesn't have a fucking cod piece on his armor that calls him Dar. That's the real name of the Beastmaster, by the way. Yeah, so I guess we should be lucky about that. We've got the knockoff bird. And we've got Wild Dog, the boy, the Bitch Boy Wonder. I say Bitch Boy Wonder because every other fucking thing he was trying to do for a battle phrase was, you know, gotcha, bitch, or surprise, bitch. You know, you know it's as hard as you can try to be, but, you know, Samuel L. Jackson, you are not. So, I don't know. I hope they don't call the team the Terrifics. I mean, because as it is right now, the, the, the team on the TV show with Curtis, Tina, and Renee would be the kind of okays, you know. And let's look at the original Team Arrow. I mean, we got Ollie, who's all kind of fucked up right now. We got Diggle, who, he, you know, he's he's got the bad case of Taylor Swift. You know, he can't seem to shake it off. And we got Fei-Fei running ops. Now, 
this is not going to be good enough, especially because we got Caden James and his fucking crew. And by the way, Caden James, the actor that played him, was also the voice of the Joker in Dark Knight Returns. So, once again, Arrow biting fucking Batman's dick, trying to rip off of that shit, too. So, eh, oh well. So, the good thing is, I think there's been stories that Colton Haynes is going to be coming back to season six for a little while, which means since Speedy's kind of fucked up, I think this is a good chance for Arsenal to return, and that might be the excuse for it. So that could be good news. But the rest of it, I mean, Team Arrow versus the kind of OKs, because I'm not called the Terrifics. I'm, I'm just not. I mean... Especially not with this version of Mr. Terrific. I mean, his instead of just launching his T-spheres, like commanding them telepathically or whatever, no, 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 no. He he chucks it like uh, like big league chew. And, you know, I'm surprised at his catchphrase isn't, Balls in your face! 